History of Vietnam Some time before American authorities at any point thought about the issue of Vietnam, the country was fashioning a way towards freedom. On December 31, 1964, there were 23,300 American fighters in Vietnam. Precisely one year later, there would be 184,300 U.S. troops in Vietnam. Regardless of this gigantic responsibility of powers, numerous in the United States knew next to know about the land their young men were being shipped off to. Vietnam is most importantly a battle for some Americans and a nation second. However, the historical backdrop of the country and individuals of Vietnam clarifies the issues experienced by the French and therefore the United States in their endeavors to control the country. The setting. Present-day Vietnam is arranged along the South China Sea, extending for in excess of 1,500 miles as it bends in an S shape along the coast. It shares a northern landline with China and western lines with Laos and Cambodia. The country has a space of 127,881 square miles, generally the size of Japan. Regardless of this, it is a flimsy country, at its littlest, its width is just 30 miles. Vietnam is generally a homogenous country however it has a couple of critical ethnic minorities, including the Dagar individuals of the Central Highlands, whom the French would call, Montagnards, or, Mountain Individuals. Early History it is in this climate that the Vietnamese public lived, battled, and flourished. The Vietnamese were a set-up ethnic gathering by 200 AD, however they were neither joined nor autonomous. Essentially situated in the north of present-day Vietnam, the Vietnamese were nevertheless one individuals vying for power in Southeast Asia. From around 200 BC until 938 AD, Vietnam was administered by a progression of Chinese sovereigns. Subsequent to crushing their royal overlords, the Vietnamese started to solidify their country, however close to consistent struggle with the Chinese, the Khmers, local Cambodians, the Chams, individuals of Champa, a southern realm, and battling between rival Vietnamese rulers kept the country powerless. By 1428, a time of Chinese occupation was finished by a local Vietnamese resistance, and the commandant of these revolutionaries became leader of Vietnam. Setting up the La dynasty, this tradition would crush the southern Champa's realm and set up Vietnamese guideline completely toward the south. In any case, inward friction fell to pieces the realm by the last part of the 1500s, parting Vietnam between the northern Trinh and the southern Nguyen. It was during the 1500s that Europeans initially started to show up, Portuguese mariners showed up in 1516, and Catholic Dominicans preachers continued in 1527. By 1580, Franciscans had shown up, and Jesuits showed up in 1615. While European exchange with Vietnam proceeded, these Catholic preachers changed over thousands, particularly in the north, and consistently expanded the European presence in Vietnam. Over the long haul, these Catholic missions would progressively be driven by the French. French involvement. A resistance in the last part of the 1700s almost annihilated the southern Nguyen tribe, yet one overcomer of the family got away. With French help, Nguyen An assembled a military and got back to Vietnam. By 1802, he had reconquered the south as well as assumed responsibility for the north, joining Vietnam without precedent for hundreds of years. Setting up his capital at Hue, he immediately got dubious of his French partners. His replacements aggrieved the Catholics and the French evangelists. A few executions during the 1830s provoked calls for French intercession from the country's Catholic populace. An assault in 1847 didn't dissuade the Vietnamese rulers, and in 1858 a full-scale French intrusion involved the city of Da Nang. Throughout the following not many years, the French extended their standard. Saigon fell in 1861, and the remainder of the South fell in 1867. Northern Vietnam fell in 1883. Southern Vietnam was renamed Cochi China, the focal district was named Annam, and the North given the name Tonkin. While they solidified Vietnam, the French progressed into adjoining countries. In 1887, the French merged each of the three pieces of Vietnam and the country of Cambodia into the Indo-Chinese Union. 
In 1893, Laos was added to the association also. France fostered a Western arrangement of schooling all through its states, kept on spreading Roman Catholicism, and fostered a manor economy to advance the fare of tobacco, indigo, tea, and espresso. French pilgrims moved for the most part into southern Vietnam and based themselves around the city of Saigon. In Saigon, numerous Western-style structures were built in impression of the developing French populace. The French endeavoured to spread their control over the whole open country, however, like most realms, were exploitive of their frontier populace. Accordingly, the local populace occasionally rose up against the French. In spite of the fact that these rebellions were severely put down, the French couldn't uncover rising patriot slant altogether. Foundation to War It was in this climate of concealment and dissidence that Nguyen Tap Than was conceived. Than, who might one day be known as Ho Chi Minh, concentrated in Paris and embraced a type of patriotism situated in Marxist-Leninism. In spite of the fact that he was rapidly considering socialist to be as the solitary way towards autonomy in Vietnam, the youthful Ho spoke to Western majority rule government for help. After the First World War, at the Paris Peace Conference in 1919, Ho wrote an individual appeal to President Woodrow Wilson to think about the situation of the Vietnamese public. Wilson won't ever react. As Vietnamese patriotism filled in power close by rising patriotism all through the European pilgrim world, Ho Chi Minh fostered a solid socialist faction in Vietnam. While the French went against him and different patriots, they immediately had bigger issues to manage. Battle with Germany in September 1939 offered path to a German attack in May 1940. France gave up to this lightning assault in June. Before long, in September 1940, Japanese powers attacked French Indochina. Throughout the conflict, the Japanese would come to involve the entirety of Vietnam. A public freedom development shaped under the heading of Ho Chi Minh to battle the French and the involving Japanese powers. The Viet Minh, as they were known, composed their endeavors with Allied soldiers, counting the American Office of Strategic Services, the OSS, the forerunner to the CIA, battling in the conflict's Pacific theater until the possible loss of Japan in 1945. After the conflict, the Viet Minh moved to the city of Hanoi in northern Vietnam and announced public freedom under a temporary government, a move that would prompt the flare-up of the First Indochina War, 1946 to 1954, as France looked to recover its settlement. Upheld by socialist governments in the Soviet Union and the recently shaped People's Republic of China, the Viet Minh held their ground. In 1950, the battling heightened to turn into a Cold War emergency as the Korean War seethed toward the north. With the breakdown of French powers at Dien Bien Phu in May 1954, France was managed a deadly blow in the conflict. In any case, the French held impressive force and the help of the West, including the United States. At the Geneva Conference of 1954, an understanding was reached with the desire for tracking down a quiet goal, requiring the partition of Vietnam at the 17th corresponding with French supporters moving toward the south and socialist supporters moving toward the north. The Geneva Accords specified that Vietnam be reunified by a public political decision in 1956, yet as unification endeavors slowed down and Cold War strains kept on building, these races were rarely held. Furthermore, the United States turned out to be progressively included during this time. As well as contributing gear and a large number of dollars in monetary guide, the US before long conveyed an unexpected of non-battle faculty with its Military Assistance Advisory Group MARG, to prepare Republic of Vietnam RVN, powers and to go against the spread of socialism into South Vietnam. With the Soviet Union comparably supporting its socialist partners in North Vietnam, formerly called the Democratic Republic of Vietnam DRIVE, and venturing up its Cold War way of talking with the US government, strains kept on mounting over the course of the following quite a while. Toward the beginning of August 1964, the disputable Gulf of Tonkin occurrences, during which the United States affirmed two separate conflicts with the North Vietnamese naval force, remembering an unprompted assault for USS Maddox by a triplet of torpedo boats, 
gave the catalyst for the entry of the Gulf of Tonkin Resolution by Congress, empowering President Lyndon Johnson to approve direct military activity without a conventional assertion of war. Preface to American Involvement All through 1965, American contribution in Vietnam would heighten as troop levels arrived at new highs consistently. President Johnson drove the country on an alternate way, picking battle contribution over the help and preparing of South Vietnamese powers. This acceleration at last prompted the essential Battle of Ia Drang Valley in November. Persuaded of their predominance in fight and the need of their main goal, the United States would completely focus on the conflict in Vietnam. Considering this specific situation, it is not difficult to perceive how the North Vietnamese push for unification was a continuation of a decades-in-length battle for freedom. The Vietnamese public had since quite a while ago endured under unfamiliar standard, and French mastery was basically the last time an unfamiliar force would guarantee direct authority over the country. By the by, the battle of the Vietnamese public was being driven by a socialist armed force that tormented, executed, and coerced the neighborhood populace. After taking control in North Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh supervised a progression of land changes and combination endeavors that left some dead. In their battle to join the country, the Viet Cong and People's Army of Vietnam, PAVN, or NVA, perpetrated numerous barbarities. The United States, unfortunate of socialist hostility and progression in Vietnam, and reluctant to yield any benefit to Moscow and Beijing, set itself between North Vietnam and their expectation for bound together, socialist country. While the American mission had a bigger key reason and secured numerous South Vietnamese who truly dreaded socialism, for some Vietnamese the United States basically supplanted the French. The fall of Saigon in 1975 addressed the finish of the unification battle, and the coming full-circle exertion of almost a hundred years of Vietnamese patriots. Thanks for watching. Bye now. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Life is Often if you haven't already click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.